Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to tell you about Screencastify, the Chrome extension that makes screencasting possible. To get Screencastify in your Google Chrome browser, you want to go to the Chrome Web Store. The link is in the description and search for Screencastify. And there it is this one. It has the arrow with the camera that is the one you will want to install. If you haven't installed it, this will say, ask you to install and you do that. When you do that, you'll be asked if you want to save your videos to Google Drive. The answer is yes, you want to save your videos to Google Drive. It's amazing, it's so easy. You get instant storage and it takes care of it for you. But what about the folder? Or where does it go in Google Drive? Guess what? It creates a folder in Google Drive, Screencastify, it's right there. And I'll prove that works in a second, but let's screencast, let's do it. So in your Chrome browser, you will see this icon. It's an arrow with a camera in it. You click it and there you have three options to start. You have your browser, you can uh, your tab in your browser. That's great if you're only screencasting one tab of your browser. So think about that beforehand. So you can do that. You can do your entire desktop. That's the safest. That gets everything. Or just your webcam. If you want to vlog and you want to use just your webcam, that's great. You can then choose to uh, choose your microphone. I will use the microphone I'm using right now. You can embed the webcam in one of the corners of your of your um, video. Now, what you want to decide is, do I need my face in this video? Now, you could just not do that and then use your FaceTime or use your Chromebook uh, camera app and then resize Windows. So you have options as far as that as well. My advice is if you're doing it for uh, content that you want to explain and tell a story, then use your face. If you're just screencasting a technology you know, strategy like I'm doing right now, your face probably isn't needed. Let's just use the space to actually show what, what we're doing. From there, just to take you on a little bit more of a tour, you have your, you can get your recordings right there by clicking the veggie burger and you can play with some more settings with that right there. So let me start a recording real quick. I'll just record my desktop and I'll just very, very quickly record just to show you the process. I hit record. It asks for my entire screen. I say share. Notice a couple things. It gives me a countdown and then, hi, there I am. I guess I uh, included that. I didn't mean to, but look at this. I can either pop that out and oh, or I can flip it. I can pop it out and make it big. I can put it back down or I can X out of it. And then I also have these tools here that I can use to kind of play around. That's kind of fun, but let me get rid of that. And that's basically it. If I click up here, I can pause the video. I can refresh it or I can just stop it. I'll stop it. And then in the next tab, there, see, it's right there. Now notice it says saving on drive. That but that meter right here is telling you that it's saving in Google Drive. This is really, really nice. It will save in Google Drive. I'll show it to you in the Google Drive folder in a minute, but it will also give you a link to it in Google Drive as well, copy link. The second you do that, you've copied that link. You can email it to anybody, student, peer, family, anyone at all. You can also download it and then upload it to YouTube if you'd like as well. Now in Google Drive, here's my Screencastify folder. I go in there and wait for it. It is last modified by me. I have to last modified. Should be there. Let me view on Drive. Hold on. It's processing. There it is. It's processing. There's the date. I've noticed this with Screencastify. It'll take a hot mm, 10 minutes to be fully there in Drive as far as be uh, viewable. But remember, you can you can do a couple of things. You can rename it. Got that. And then, you, like I said, you can also share. And if I go back here and I hit refresh. Oh, no, no, that should be there.
and we'll go to last modified. Oh, and there it is, test video. I just was doing it wrong, but there it is, 8.44 a.m., test video, and that's it. It's right there for you. Screencastify, such a great tool. If you have any questions about Screencastify, my favorite screencasting tool, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.